What? Come on! Vive la France! Hey, what's up, France? My name's Paul Taylor, I'm English, and right now, we live in a world where in order to get into paradise, you don't need to be religious anymore. You just need a fuck ton of money and be a total prick. But meanwhile in France, I'm writing a poem to a 13-year-old English girl just like Macron did. Hashtag no pedo. Hiya! In case you missed it, an English girl called Sophie came to Paris in April to visit the Eiffel Tower and like every 13-year-old English girl that comes here, she was like, Oh my god, this tower's so amazing, in it? <laughs> oh, where's my fucking beer? Oh, nice one. But she loved it so much that she decided to write a poem about it and then send it to the Elysee Palace. So for her birthday last week, Jean-Pierre Macron decided to reply to her poem in English. Amazing! <laughs> Two things. First of all, Sophie wrote her poem in April, right? Which was before Macron even became president. So her poem was actually meant for François Hollande. But I guess François here was in such a rush to leave l'Elysée, he must have treated it like a fucking Airbnb and left all his shit behind, right? Uh, you know, I have already paid my cleaning fee, huh? <laughs> Although I think Sophie was lucky that Hollande didn't reply to her poem in English because with his level of English, it would have sounded like this. Uh, the Eiffel Tour, she can be do what we want to do. Merci. <laughs> Secondly, Macron's level of English is incredible. He used the word humdrum during his poem. <laughs> Fucking humdrum? I had to look that word up in the dictionary and it turns out it means boring. This motherfucker's teaching me English. I thought humdrum was a character from Harry Potter. Non mais Paul, Macron l'a écrit en français et c'est l'ambassade française de Londres qui l'a traduit. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but still, fucking humdrum. But the thing that made me laugh the most about this story was that French people got really fucking angry. Putain, moi je paye mes impôts et pendant ce temps là, l'autre il, il perd son temps à écrire des poèmes comme s'il y a que ça à foutre. Hey, calm it down. It's a fucking poem. It's a really nice, positive thing to do. And in the world we live in right now, we need a bit of fucking positivity. By the way, everyone's calling it a poem, right? But how do we know that it's not a rap? Because Macron could have easily just been laying down the beat. En voyage à Paris, la petite Sophie croise un géant illuminant la nuit. Comment tu t'appelles, monstre surnaturel Tous nos visiteurs m'appellent la Tour Eiffel. Oh, come on, what Yes, high fives No, I thought it was fucking hilarious. Come on, rapping in a second language. Jesus Christ, give me a break. Speaking of bollocks, this channel is full of bollocks, so just subscribe. Click it here, just there, wherever it is, just click subscribe. That's what we have to do. We live in a world where we have to subscribe to shit. So please subscribe, because that means, uh, I don't know what it means. It just means that there's more people watching more things, and that's the way it is. So just subscribe. It'll be good.